the area directly below us is the Carlin trend, and Nevada is the fourth largest gold producing region in the world, and it produced almost 9% of the uh, world's gold in uh, 2011, and Carlin trend is the reason for that. You look down below us and you see all that activity in all the mines on an acre per acre basis. This is one of the richest gold endowments uh, anywhere in the world. Very unique. And the gold systems are very big. They're typically multi-million ounce. So we would call those world-class or elephant type of gold deposits. The geologists in this state have been looking for these deposits for the last 40 years, really. And so we've come to understand the geology, uh, the geophysics, the geochemistry. And I like to think of the actual deposits as pearls on a necklace. Every few miles, you have another deposit and they line up. The trend is the largest of the gold trends in Nevada, but there's a second gold trend that's parallel to it called the Eureka Battle Mountain Trend. It's got large mines on both the north and the south end, but it's the center part of it, which is called the Cortez Trend, which is really gaining some notoriety in the last 10 years. Two major uh, multi-million ounce deposits have been discovered, and so Fred is really, really pleased to be uh, participating in this exploration. The key to success at Red Hill is to understand the structural setting and to identify the right stratigraphy for hosting gold mineralization. We have the predictive model and we understand the causality of gold deposit formation in the Cortez trend. I worked for Placer Dome on the Cortez joint venture from 1999 to 2004 and it was my job to build a generative model to direct ongoing project acquisition, target identification and exploration programs. And so it shifted it from the focus on north-northwest faults to focus on a broader west-northwest structural corridor that really told us which direction to go to make discovery. There's a recurring theme for all world-class Carlin-type systems in Nevada. The west-northwest faults within and bounding this corridor are thought to separate zones of differential movement along the margins of the fault blocks. This differential movement causes interfering fold patterns, create domes above and adjacent to northwest trending faults. These domes create stratigraphic highs that trap gold-bearing fluids. Intrusives beneath these domes may provide the source of gold and also a secondarily induced fluid that creates a large fluid mixing event that causes the precipitation of gold in a confined area along the fold axis. The extent of the Cortez corridor is on the order of 24 miles. It extends from the Shoshone Range southeast through the Cortez Range and 12 to 14 miles southeast towards the Simpson Park Range, which is where our Red Hill property is. We're on the southeast terminus of the Cortez Trend. I really think we're in elephant country. Existing deposits in the Cortez Trend are world-class, up to 20 million plus ounces. I think that there's every reason to expect that we could make a 5 to 12 million plus ounce discovery at Red Hill. In the last 10 years, two big deposits have been found, both Cortez Hills and a 7 million ounce discovery, uh, the, the Gold Rush, and uh, the geologic community thinks Gold Rush is going to uh, probably be 20 million ounces when everything's said and done, when the drilling's finished this year. So, you know, this area has gone from initially a, a 1 million ounce district to uh, something in the neighborhood of 40 million ounces, and we're hoping that it'll uh, ultimately rival the, uh, the Carlin trend. You've got to drill 100, 200, 300 feet of gravel in these basins before you get to the bedrock. And that's where the new discoveries are coming from. BRH-13 is absolutely the best drill hole in this trend that we know that sits outside of the Barrick Holdings. If there's another pearl on this string after uh, Gold Rush, well, Miranda has the next property to the southeast, and that's Red Hill. Miranda's Red Hill deposit is very important for us. We may have an ore grade discovery hole already. A historic hole at Red Hills ran almost a quarter ounce over 45 feet, which proves beyond a doubt that there's a mineralized Carlin system at Red Hills. What we don't know is how big that system is. Red Hills is definitely a game changer for us, so we're very excited about it. We generate high quality projects. That would be projects that have multi-million ounce of potential. 
And then we look for a partner to supply the early capital that goes into the drilling phase. Ken's put together a staff that uh, really understands Carlin-type systems. I've been involved in the gold exploration business over 30 years. I know the state. I know Carlin-type gold systems, which is what we're looking for here. And they're in the right part of the world at the right time. Historic drilling has been for shallow oxide resources. Out here we're looking for deep, high-grade, large Carlin-style deposits underneath pediment gravels. Discovery here would potentially change the whole complexion of, of Miranda as an exploration company. We're one hole away from the Holy Grail. The future of Miranda looks really good. We've got a great team of uh, geologists that's leading our exploration. Uh, we've got certainly right here, I think, one of the best properties in the emerging Cortez gold trend. We're being led by Joe. He's a proven ore finder. And uh, we've got a dozen other projects in uh, Nevada, and Joe's also led us into Alaska and Columbia. So the future is real bright. You know, one, uh, one good drill hole is a game changer for us, and uh, we're looking forward to rewarding our shareholders that have been so patient with it. And I can't wait to see the drills turning in.